Um, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a ball physics um, on Scratch. Uh, so let's get started. First thing what we're going to do is say when clicked. Uh, when the flag is clicked, we're going to broadcast and wait um, uh, a message. And we can call it um, reset. And this is going to reset all the variables. Also, this actually this code should be in the ball. So as you can see, also, um, I've already got a shadow, uh, a floor, and a ball. So what you're going to need is, is a, the costume for your ball, and then a shadow, and then a really big version of the shadow. And then you're going to need a floor, and then just a dot uh, for the floor. So then, so now what we can do is we're going to say, when I receive reset, we can make some variables. So we need... Um, bounciness uh, sorry. Uh, I think I spelled that wrong but uh, it, yeah bounciness and we're going to need diameter and we're going to need gravity um, and then we're also going to need friction and then zoom for like uh, the the like how far in it zoomed in and then the color so you can change the ball color and then ball X uh, for the X position of the ball and the ball Y for the Y position of the ball and then um, we can make a variable called XVEL and then one called YVEL for the um, speed or velocity of the ball okay so then what we're going to do is set the, um, first we can set the bounciness to be 80, maybe. Oh, and I can hide this for now. So maybe bounciness of 80, uh, diameter of like 50, and then the diameter is like the size, sort of. And then the gravity to be 1, but it'll actually be like negative 1, because it... It'll be going down though. And then um, the friction, we can set to two. Um, and then we can set the zoom um, to just be a regular 100. And then we can set the color effect or the color variable to be zero. And then we can also um, set the um, ball X and ball Y to zero. So what you guys can do is, oh wait, actually set the ball Y to be like 80. So the, um, oh yeah, and X fell and Y fell to zero. Okay, so now what you guys can do is you can make these variable sliders and put, um, you can put like ranges on them if you want to be able to be able to manually change these like so people playing the game you could set this to a slider but i'm not gonna do that because i don't think i need to put that in this tutorial because i think you guys could already do that so i'm not gonna add that um right now so um yeah so then also um yeah i also nothing i guess um so then uh we're going to say um then we're gonna make another new variable called grab um which is going to be seeing basically if it's grabbing uh the ball so then we can make the, the code to to actually um know when it's grabbing the ball we can say um when when the flag is clicked we can say forever and then set grab to zero but then wait until the and wait until the ball is touching the mouse pointer and the mouse is down so it's basically clicking on the ball touching mouse pointer and mouse down then we can set the grab to one and then we can repeat until the not the mouse is not down so it'll wait until we're not clicking or keep doing this until we let go then we um can set the x velocity 
and the y velocity so this will make it follow the mouse and it can also make it so that we can like fling the ball to um a minus and then a divided by so put the minus in the left side of the divided by and we can say um so the mouse x minus our x position and then divided by two and then we can do the same thing for the y vel except we can change this to mouse y minus our y position divided by two and then now what we're going to do is um, make a bit of space here so then because this is going to be where the main loop is we can say um So then, this is where the bigger codes, I mean, start, I guess. We can say a, a forever loop, and then uh, so we can set the size to 200%, and then we can set the color, I mean, change the color, um, uh, well, actually, um, well, I guess. Mm, now, let's just say, um, set color to, um, color times two, so the color times two. And then we can, if, uh, say if the grab equals zero, so it's not grabbing, um, then what we can do is um, change the Y velocity or the Y vel um, by uh, gravity times negative one. So it'll only fall if it's not being grabbed. And then, um, next what we can do is change the ball y um, by um, our y vel. And then we can say, um, then if, um, um, yeah, if ball y is less than, um, ball y, is less than um so then minus and then diameter divided by two um, um minus 159 um then what we can do is um make a new custom block and i don't know just call it thing because i don't it doesn't really need a name just call it whatever you want and then, so what we're gonna do for the, and then put the thing in there. So then for the thing, um, we can just say, uh, what? we can just say um, repeat until, and um, also, I think I made it wrong without screen refresh. Um, like, but just make sure that this is wrong without screen refresh here. And then say, um, get repeat until, and then, um, and then we can put um, this, except we can change it to be like this. Um, so ball y is greater than this. Then we can change the ball y by one. So this would like get it out of the ground. So there's a limit, I think. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it'll just go up now. Um, then uh, where did it go oh yeah oh, right here and then we can also set the x vel whoops okay set the x vel to be x vel times um and then so x vel times and then we need one minus uh, well, let me drag it one minus friction divided by 100. So friction, which would mean it's, I think it's, that would mean the friction right now would be like 0 0.8, I think. And then set the y vel um, to y vel times, um, bounciness divided by negative 100 so it'll bounce up and then we can do um then what we say next in this loop is um 
is uh, change the ball X by the X valve, and then we can um, set our X um, right here, not the ball X, make sure it's like the actual X position X, to be um, ball X times Ball X times um, zoom divided by 100. Zoom divided by 100. And then we can, now this will make it bounce off walls and stuff. Um, so to do that, we can say if, and then this is a big part. Um, so make sure that you do the operators right. If the X position is greater than um, 240 minus um, and then something divided by 2 and what that something is is going to be diameter times um, the zoom divided by 100 so basically this except we can change this to be um, diameter times zoom divided by 100 Okay, so now this looks good, I think. And then what we can do is set the X to be um, 239. Mm, and then all of this. So it will not be on the wall. And then we can put this in here. And then we can set the X bell to be... Um, Xfell times, so this will make it bounce off the wall, so we need to do, um, similar to this, so bounciness divided by negative 100, and then, I hope I'm doing this right, we'll see, um, yeah, Xfell times bounciness divided by negative 100, and then we can set the ball X to be X position, um, divided by, I mean, yeah, divided by, um, zoom divided by 100. So just change this to zoom. Okay. Then we can make it bounce off the other wall. So we can duplicate this and switch this around to be XFL is great, um, less than all of this. And then we can change, um, this to go on this other side and all of this is subtracted by like 240 is being subtracted from this number and then we can do um we can do this in here and then do 239 and then um and then this time and then it's going to be um still the same for the X file setting and then the ball X is also still going to be the same and then we can make it go to the right position so then we can say um, go to and this is outside of all the ifs um, go to the ball X times zoom divided by 100 and then we can say go to the ball y times zoom divided by 100. And then we can set the size, last but not least. So see, it was setting the size to 200 up here. But here we're going to set the size back down. So we can set size to the size that it needs to be. So diameter times zoom divided by 100. And then, so now... Uh, where'd it go? Well, it's... Mm, there we go. It's just, um... You can throw it really far. Um, but there. And now it's bouncing. And it's working. It looks it looks a lot like a ball. And then, um... I guess one more thing I'll show you how to do is, um... A cool shadow, I guess. Um, and see how it's sort of bouncing like this? 
This is because the bounciness is 80, so it has to be bouncing. If we set it to something smaller, it won't keep doing that. So you guys can fiddle with these numbers. So yeah, last thing I'm gonna show you is how to add a shadow. I think, I don't actually think I'll use the floor. Um, I'll just do the shadow. So then we can say, when clicked, um, we can say forever switch costume to help, uh, which is the big one. And then we can go to the ball X. So make sure that these were fall sprites. Um, sorry if I forgot to tell you, but yeah, those were all fall sprites. Like none of the variables were for this part only. Um, so ball X times zoom divide by 100. Um, so there, and then the, but this time for the, the ball Y, it's not gonna go up that high, it's just gonna be minus 159, which is gonna be like basically the, the floor where it would be on the floor and then times zoom divided by 100. And then it also is gonna um, set the size then to the, um, to the size, um, where is it? Uh, Oh yeah, it's, it's still under stage. Make sure to switch this thing to be ball. And then size of ball minus the um, ball wide. Uh, wait, oh yeah, and by the way guys, I forgot. This, I forgot to change to be zoom. And I forgot to change this to zoom. So there. And then ball y divided by, oops, divided by 30 plus five. And then, so put this in the plus, and then put this in the minus, and then put this in the minus. And then we can say, go to, um, go to back layer, and then set ghost effect, so it looks more like a shadow, to be like 50. And then we can switch the costume to shadow, so, so it'll um, work now. And then, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to make it show again. There. Now there's a shadow with the ball. So yeah, um, this is how to make a ball physics. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you can use this to make a, a cool game. And uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video. So um, yeah, bye.